Huh? Ready. We're on the top. What's up, everybody? Happy past Christmas, happy Hanukkah, happy Kwanzaa, and a happy new year coming up from your boy Slick and Thick. Obviously, this is like our fifth studio in our last five episodes. Big news coming up in the new year. You guys have been so patient sticking with us. Thank you. We love you. We're getting all your DMs. We can't answer them yet, but trust me, the answer is coming soon. Trust your boys. The answer's coming soon. Trust your boys. Bigger and better. Incredible. You're going to love it. And that, 2024, baby, is the sweet siren sound not to my right. But across from me, as always, at six foot three, two hundred and ten pounds of holiday weight, the master of punks, the tamer of stages, the CEO of the RNC. Th- I'm missing one, man. I'm out of practice here. Which one am I missing here? The tamer of punks, the master of stages, the CEO, the CEO of the RNC, RNC, the king of the ring. Pretty Mickey Gall, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, Ashante G. Ashante. 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 Nice to see you, my friend. How same, are you? Same. How the heck are you? I'm Ooh, actually, I know how G is. G got his purple belt. Uh-huh. G got his purple belt. Strap him. Strap yeah. him up. Strap yeah, him up. Yeah, baby. How you feel? You I feel feeling good. like a purple I feel, belt? I feel good. I feel good. I feel like people think I might have needed a blue belt and a red belt tied together to make a purple belt, but it's just one belt. Right. It's one belt. I mean, it might be like an A5, but it's one belt. That's almost how colors work. That's how co- I feel like it was level unlocked. I feel like Donatello. Yeah. I feel good. Although I did want to Donatello get- does machines. <laughs> hey. That was uh pretty gay of them, huh? Why? Like, <laughs> they're just like, like it's I mean, it's they're obviously just calling him like a nerd. Yeah. Like they're like Leonardo. No, it's, so it goes uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. We're not gonna sing those songs. We're gonna get canceled Ninja off YouTube, Turtles. all right? So hold Heroes on. Heroes in a half shell. Turtle Don't power. Say it. Blocked. <laughs> it's, it. it's over. It's over. You just ruined it. That's copyright, dude. Oh. Look, um. Raphael's cool but rude. Raphael is cool but rude. Michelangelo is a party dude. Michelangelo is a party dude. All right. Now they go, Leonardo leads. Yeah. Donatello does machines. Donatello does machines. Does machines. Yeah. It's more like that. I felt like Leonardo was the real nerd, not Donatello. Um. Do good or ass. Hey, bro, he's a leader. Snitch. Is he a snitch? It's kind of a snitch. They made him like a snitch. He was always the guy snitching, you know? Was he, what, telling to uh, Master Splinter? Master Splinter, like, yeah. Mm. Raphael had another outburst. Yeah. Yeah. Well, whatever, G. You know what? All I'm saying is <laughs> you made it really difficult for me to make. I have. You know what? I got points to make here, too. Wait, 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 wait. You make a I'm really... sure you want to talk about Trump and you want to talk about Bitcoin and oh, you know I do. AI, but you know I do. listen. D- I got important Ninja Turtles stuff to talk about. Why were the were the belts ever like considered that maybe like Leo should be a brown belt? And I hear and and I just figured out you're saying Donatello because he's got the purple. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought you were like you were like I'm feeling like like I'm gonna do machines. <laughs> you're kidding me. You thought if I, I was did, a Ninja yeah, Turtle, you think I'd be anybody but Raphael? You, Come on. You like pizza. Oh, shit, I might be Mike. They all like pizza, but I Mikey Mike. Mikey would, you know, he probably likes a little pizza, a little fucking, you know. Gerard I mean, Michelangelo nose. would have been a way better stage name. Gerard Michelangelo? Gerard Michelangelo. Raphael would Michelangelo would have been pretty tight, too. Bibbidi boppity Tommy, to- hey, the Tommy Cutlets era. Didn't make it to 2024, unfortunately. Golly, you think unfortunately. they're going to start Tyrod Taylor next For week? For sure, they, they absolutely. Deadass? They, what do you mean, Tomorrow? Well, it's still, yeah, I mean, it's in a couple of days. Yeah, well, it's, yeah. By the time this shit uh, comes out. You're breaking the third wall, bro. I think you did. <laughs> you said next week. Maybe you correct me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll see. I yeah, got the- yeah, yeah. <laughs> the cat. Uh, yeah, I, I wonder why they didn't do, like, uh, white belt, blue belt. You know, well, because they all got their belt. skills. They're all, I would they're say all they're all belts? black belts in what they do. Like with the, the what are they called? Size? Michael, uh, Raphael's thing? I think they all do the same thing. I think it's ninjutsu. Right, but they all have a different, like he's, one dude, Leonardo's got a stick. Yeah, with the staff. He's got the staff. Yeah. Uh, the tridents. That's what. The size, yeah. That's what, uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? And then, uh, you know, nunchucks. you got the nunchucks. Boof, boof, boof. And you got. Scored. Machines. Now you got the sword. 
Leo's the oh, sword. Oh, Leo's got the sword. Right. He's got the staff, but he does machine. This is the real weapon. Yeah. This is Donatello's real weapon. Bro. So yeah, Donatello was the was a nerd was the one for the nerdy kids. Yeah. That like, but you know what? There's a big there's a big. He place wears for glasses, him. but he still kicks ass. Yeah, I lo- I uh, I was always a Raphael guy. Yeah. Um, I did like Michelangelo growing up too, though. Did you? Yeah. I like Michelangelo. Yeah, it was fun. I will say I liked Michelangelo less as I aged. Yeah. You know, but in the video games, yeah. I got see. I, I watched it as a little kid, man. Then I like grew up and like started doing cool shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you had to pick one of those, uh, one of those weapons, which one are you going with there? Uh, I guess sword. Yeah, give me the katana for sure. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I want, the, I want the reach. Yeah, nunchucks versus a katana. That's like the old school rock paper scissors right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Only it's like playing nunchucks <laughs> with a katana. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ha ha! My my nunchucks beats, beat your beats katana. Oh my god! It did. Huh? What beats a katana? Gunpowder. Gunpowder. The British Empire. Well, if he's gunpowder. <sighs> when you drop the sun on the island twice. You drop the sun on the house of the rising sun. Or <laughs> yeah, you, land of the you, rising made, you made the sun fall twice. Yeah, yeah. that'll that'll do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, man. Well. And what beats that? Congratulations Communism. on your purple belt. Thank you. That's man. a purple belt's a big deal, man. In, Bro, in, I, in jujitsu. You know, white belt is where you kind of you learn your defense because everyone knows the secret moves on how to you know use technique to incapacitate you, and make you render you either unconscious or broken. So you tap first, so neither of those consequences happen. Blue belt, you start you know towards the end of white belt or even mid white belt, you start getting your little offense game going to start really learning it in blue belt. But you're still getting tapped by some people, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Purple belts where you spend most of your time. Unless you're like a lifelong practitioner, you know what I mean. Like white belt is like a year, or two years. Blue belt's like a year, or two years. Purple belt's like a. I feel like it's like a three to five year kind of spot. You know? br- brown belt's no joke. If you're a brown belt, you're you're legit. If you're black belt, you're black belt. But if you're a brown, if you're a brown yeah. belt, I feel like you're you're. Yeah, I just proud. I feel like I feel like purple belt's kind of the longest belt. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But it's it's one of the most fun ones too. Yeah, I you was know? hoping to get in one or two more tournaments in the sandbag, the, the blue belt. You know, yeah, you get a couple more fake golds up there, big sandbag in front of it. I mean, yeah. I, I have been a blue belt for seven years. So, what do you think about since you've been able to start training with the great David D? It's not close. It's not close. He's 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 just so much better, and it's and it's not a disrespect to the other professors of the other schools he's just so much better at connecting the dots between what you are doing and what you should do and he's able to communicate with you in a way that allows you to 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 make that connection Yeah, he's able to articulate the principles where it's not a lot of you know jujitsu gyms are like here's an arm bar you got to get you know i mean throw your leg here then you just pull yeah. here's a Kimura. yeah you know what i mean he's like we'll explain to you each spot where it's like you yeah you learn the technique on that but you learn how and when and why sure you know and he, and he individualizes it for you too like there's other places i've been and it's been like well this is the way you do it i'm like i don't think my body does that and they're like yeah no, like you're not you gonna be a triangle guy no you know and, and and he's like well this is what you do and he just makes one little change and he's like yeah you don't need to do this you need to do this and and, and it's effective it's it, his his understanding of the human body is fantastic and his ability to communicate is world class it's it's yeah. the i think it's the, the best jujitsu coach I've, I've ever seen that's gracie new jersey yeah. in uh uh clinton new jersey or lebanon new jersey mm-hmm. uh 56 Payne road lebanon new jersey go check them out that's where i came up that's you know that's my home that's my home uh Dave is the man. He's the second father to me, and I'm happy to have you in the in the lineage now. Hey. You're now David and Dave Purple Belt. You've been yeah. spending you know a couple of years around David since we've uh, you know been friends. Yeah, and, yeah, it's very, pretty very, cool. Very honored. Very grateful. And if you're a coach or if you have coaching, I, I will tell you this: if you're an athlete, mm-hmm. um, if your coach forces you to do things his way, you're probably not in the right position for you. Right. And, and that's not to say that you as an athlete know best. You don't. You don't. But if you're doing something and you're having success with it, this was even at the professional level where you can hit home runs and the coaches would almost be mad at you if you did it 
but it wasn't via their technique. It's yeah. almost like you're disproving them. They took it as like a personal thing. There's so many guys. Nah, there's there's e- coaches got egos, yeah. and that's not a good coach. Bad doesn't make coach. for a good coach. That's a bad coach. That's something man. that David uh, preaches is that everybody's different. Mm. You're you're different from me. I'm different from her. She's different. You know what I mean? We're all different. We all have different. Uh, you know, attributes and deficiencies. Mm-hmm. Certain things I'm going to be better at, certain things you're going to be better at. We have different body types, different sk- your skill sets, all that shit. You got to use what fits you and use your own creativity. You learn the art. He teaches you to have, be free. You know what I mean? He mm-hmm. teaches you to use what you have, the gifts that God gave you, and put those into practice and be free. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's really important. And that's that's the... The best fighters in the world are the ones who are use what they're where they're the best. You know what I mean? Yeah. And put their own creativity on things. You you could just if you do everything just by the book, it could get you pretty far. But if you got you got to put your own little rip on your own little art uh, artistic touch on it. You know what I mean? Totally. You see it in football where a guy, hey, we run the wishbone around here, and it's like we don't have a wishbone personnel. Mm-hmm. No, this is what we do. It's worked in the past. Do you have two state championships? Mm, they were 20 years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? You know, why well, we have Iron Man. We we got we play both ways. It's like, dude, what are we doing here? You know, if if it feels right, there's nothing better than believing in your coach. It makes it's almost like a superpower. When you believe in what you're being told, you're like, man, I got inside information. I got I got the secret sauce. I got the juice. I just got to be me. Work out, 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 work everybody, and do what this dude says, and we're gonna win because that's my guy. And mm-hmm. there's nothing worse than being like, "Damn, I don't think this dude knows what he's talking about." Right. And especially, you know, if you're competing at a high level, man, you know, there's this shit I see with baseball now, where like they teach these guys, we got we, we, you know, launch angles like a big thing, launch angle, and these guys who never played, but they look at the numbers, and I'm big on numbers. I'm very it's a lot big, of like analytics. I'm kinda, very big on analytics. Uh, I'm very big on it. I don't. I don't want to be like you know. I'm not poo pooing it at all. I'm huge on analytics, and I think used properly, it's 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 a cheat code. But there's people that look at it but have never played that are sitting there going, "Well, every home run is at a 30 degree angle. So what we want to do is we want to drop our bat and create that angle." And it's like, oh my god, don't do that. <laughs> please do not do that. I beg you, open this front hip so you can pull them. Do not do that, please. You're yeah, gonna get you nothing but strikeouts. you're gonna get sliders away and never hit the ball in the air. Right. It's it's no different than somebody being like sixty five percent of all knockouts come from a right hook, so you should only throw only right throw hooks. Right it's hands. like I feel like that's not yeah. a good strategy. Yeah. Well, the numbers are saying, yeah, dude, if you're in a position where you're getting coached, and we had a lot of young athletes that listen to this podcast, if you're in a position where it doesn't feel right, man. Ask the questions. Have them explain it to you. And if that guy says, shut up and do what you're told, find another coach immediately. A good coach, if David and Deeb, some of the coaches I've had, they'll be able to explain it to you in a way that makes sense to you and you can apply it. There's no such thing as asking bad questions when it comes to this stuff. Yeah, I've heard some people ask some annoying-ass questions. It's annoying. And sometimes, No, no, pe- people sometimes ask questions to like show that they know something and just wait to waste your fucking time. What do you mean? Like they'll be like, oh, I I could think of examples. I don't want to. Though. Oh, <laughs> I don't really? want to say, but like, yeah, they'll basically be like, oh, so like it's like it's like this and this, it's like this and like oh, it's almost like doing a blah 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 thing. It's like, oh yeah, maybe just do what the fuck I just said though. <laughs> you know what I mean? Is this and, uh, and there is, there oh, is this, degree... oh this is like what Nogara did to so and so and yeah. Thanks and for that, showing it, that you watched that. That's yeah. cool. I guess. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. It's uh, people. Yeah. Uh, I, I had something a, a second ago, but now I don't have it. And that happens to me sometimes. About uh, people asking the questions? I was before that. Before. It, was, it was something about like with the young athlete and the coach, but they'll never get this beautiful information. <laughs> I'm just going to keep it to myself, I guess. Okay. No, I wish I could, I, but I, I lost it. We, you know, we've been out here hustling we've for a minute. We've been out here bro. hustling for a minute, man. Uh, speaking of lost it, have you been keeping up? It's been the holidays. Have you been keeping up with what's happened with old... Uh, Old uh, General Orange, Donald J. Trump. General Orange. Yeah, the Orange General. Um. So yeah, I see people are are shutting him down, and taking him out of uh, not al- allowing him to be on a ballot. Yeah, it's which the I don't primary. Get, how's that? How's that like legal? Well, they're making it legal. It's this is a very dangerous. Like, it. <laughs> every time I say like, like throw something at me. I want to stop saying like. 
I had a teacher in college who uh, would say to you, if you were answering and you were like saying like, like a lot and like, it's like something like this, you go, uh, easy on the likes. Mm. And I remember I, like, I'd heard him said it, like I'd heard him said it to people, uh, to, to other people. And he said it to me. And my initial reaction was, fuck you, motherfucker. Don't tell me how to talk. <laughs> in my, just in my head, like, like it was like, he was like, he's on likes. I'm like, and I was like, he, he's right. Yeah. He's right. He's right. He's right. Yeah. So, um, so we're going to call this episode Easy on the Likes. Easy now, on the Likes. So everyone do a drinking game. Easy on the maybe, Likes. Th- maybe five likes equals <laughs> equals one five drink. Five likes equals one drink. Otherwise, you're going to be fucked up by <laughs> the end the of fuck? this. What the fuck? This is our first time trying, all right? Like, this, is our, this is our first time trying. Yeah, and if, but if you're doing hard AF seltzer, if you're doing the right thing, you've bought yourself some hard AF seltzer, maybe like one every ten likes. <laughs> yeah. Because there probably. was two right there in that sentence. Yeah. The That's just pretty good, dog. Pretty, pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. So, we we are marching towards a really, really destructive end, and I feel oh, back to Donald Trump. Yeah, I feel as if people are like, uh, I feel as if people expect this. Well, there's times you can say like, <laughs> like in this example. Yeah, for example, something is like something else. Sure, you know what I mean. Yeah. But if you're like just like going like this, like even that hurts here. Take five like drinks, like <laughs> totally. They're creating the, they're going with the thing where he is an insurrectionist. They're still going with this. The, the the public didn't buy it, unless you're an ardent Democrat, unless you're like an ardent left wing supporter. There's nobody that believes January six actually was an insurrection. There's just not. People are are clamoring to that, and it's obvious now that the whole plan this whole time. There were people that compared it to the Civil War. 750,000 people died in the Civil War. There were people that compared it to 9-11. It's grotesque. It's such... Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's such bad pool. It's so corrupt. And now they're not kicking him off the ballot. They're kicking him off the primary, which means even Republicans can't make him their their nominee. These were blue states Trump wasn't going to win so anyway. So is he like done? No, but they're trying to... And that make, time when I said like, is like, is he like done and not done, totally yep. done? You know what I mean? The Supreme Court is almost definitely going to say it's unconstitutional. It's, and he'll be back on the ballots? It's the primary. Or the Republican Party can say we're not primarying in the state, which the Democrats are basically doing. What What's lost in this is that the Democrats aren't just making Donald Trump not able to be elected. Marianne Williamson, who's running for president as a Democrat, is not on the ballot. RFK is not on the ballot, even though he's polling in the really? double. In, even though he's not, he's polling in double digits. They won't even give RFK secret security. Yeah, I remember. He that. has to pay for his own security. I remember that. So part of this strategy is to make Donald Trump pay tens of millions of dollars in legal fees, fighting all of these ninety different uh, allegations that they keep dropping on him, so that he doesn't have the money to campaign. Now, some people are saying that that's backfiring because it's giving him free press and publicity and it's making him a victim and you're seeing it in the black community where the black community is like turning on the democrats and like this fucking guy donald trump he gets it he's gonna he's we've been telling you it's like this we've been trying to tell you you know he, donald trump all of a sudden is getting endorsements from black lives matter leaders farrakhan came out and was well this is years ago farrakhan said but people are doubling down on it this this is not normal. People are treating this as if it's normal politics. There's nothing normal about this. This, If this escalates into a situation where, so now Republicans want to go rogue and they take Joe Biden off the ballot? Is the, is the Republican Congress going to impeach Biden just so he has allegations? This, this is crumbling. This is falling apart. These are battle lines being drawn. Meanwhile... Battle lines, huh? Battle lines being drawn. Meanwhile, Texas just... Put onto the ballot in 2024 to secede. It got over a million signatures to put it on the ballot. So there's what people. What do they mean? They, when they say they want to secede, they're going to be the, the, the country Republic of Texas? of Texas. The Republic of Texas. Yeah, it's probably le- it's it's an unlikely to pass, but it's greater than zero percent likelihood. And if that happens, oh boy, what happens? Oh boy. We're down to forty nine. We it would go. We uh, we gotta flick a star off. It would the go from fucking flag. It, it would go from forty nine to forty eight to forty six to forty seven so quick. It and would. And then you know you talk about the 
fall of Rome, the similarities mm -hmm. in from the fall of Rome to now, that could be the kicker, bro. That could be what what really kicks that thing off. Diocletian's east, east and west. It's north and south instead. It, it, we don't know. But it, it's shocking to me how calm everybody is. It's shocking to me how, like... Uh, so, what, you said the word battle lines, and I think there might have been a little bit of pun intended there. Mm -hmm. You think, uh, uh, you know, you think 2024 20, is going to get crazy, huh? I do. And I would love to be wrong. Right. I would love to be wrong. I would love to be sitting here in 2026 with the, the greatest two years in our nation's history with everybody going, remember when your ass thought this was... We we were on the bridge of collapse. You freaking you you alarmist. So you, hope you cynic, told you so. bro. I would love to be wrong. I would love 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 to be wrong. Billionaires don't spend hundreds of millions of dollars to build secu seclusion bunkers for no reason. Uh, yeah. People, there's so many tea leaves. The southern border. Everybody's getting caught up in the color of the people coming across the border. We know immigrants. We're, f we're from immigrants. It has nothing to do with immigrants. Where are the women and children, Mick? Why are all these 18 to 30-year-old men coming I, across the southern border? What's the answer? Well, we, we're going we're gonna to find out. We, what in, do you think in, the answer in, is? in the new year, we have a former border agent. What do I think the answer is? I think that in order to... Br Honestly, can I just be 100% honest? That's what I'm fucking looking for, dog. Communism is the answer. Communism is the answer. So these are communists coming across? There is a global communist cabal. You want to call it the, the, the WEF. You want to call it the Paris Accord. You want to call it the Bilderbergs. You want to call it uh, uh, the UN. You want to call it whatever NGO title you want to give it. The fact of the matter is these are all the same people operating under, un, under the same ideals. Open border society from George Soros. Now I'm going like full Alex Jones here. Don't trust anything I'm saying. Get go online, look, look do your up. research, get in the comments, and tell me how wrong I am. I please, okay? They want a one world. But do your government. own research. Don't just listen to like your dad be like, ah, it's not true. Yeah, you know what I mean. Don't or don't Google media. it. Media <laughs> and what this is this is a and, and do and you know look on several. If you're gonna research, research, research. One of the funniest things you'll do, one of the most eye opening things you can do, is Google something, and then the first thing that'll come up is. AP fact check, you know, this isn't, you know, this isn't true. Pe people say open border societies, want you to know this. So then you go and you look, people say open border societies doesn't want borders. Fact check false. And oh, you, look, there's the, where are the women? Where are the children? Play it. Yeah. Play it. Go ahead. And then I'll come back to the, the, uh, the fact check thing. You tell me, bro. You can cut it, man. So, I mean, yeah. We're going to, I guess we're going to, we're going to do a little, uh, Gerard state of the union, Gerard prediction. No, no, not today. No, because, I'm good. You know, I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm with it. We don't have time really to get deep into it. All right. People... Well, tell me, then I'm going to ask my questions. Go ahead. You throw, so you talk about the battle lines. Mm -hmm. You think there's going to be a civil war? You think there's a good chance of a civil war? Nick, I think we're already in a civil war. People just don't, don't realize it's it. a, it's a, what it's, kind of war? It's a propaganda war. It's an propaganda information war. Information. It, it, it's a biological war. Bernie Sanders came out today talking about how he had COVID and thank God he's up to date on his vaccines. What does that mean? What do you have? 11 boosters now? Like how come you people keep getting COVID? Why do you keep testing for COVID? Like what, what, what is that about? You're a sitting U S Senator. I know an old man who had COVID last week. Fine. It, dude, it's, it's here forever now. Why are we not worried we had about him over for, for Christmas? Why are we not worried about where it came from? How come China has never, it, it, if the lab, we don't even care that it was a lab leak anymore. We're like, okay, it was a lab leak. They, they don't have to pay for any of this? Why not? Well, because we're probably culpable too. And who, what's, what's, there's been no accountability. Why would anything change? So who's fighting in this civil war of information and propaganda and bi ah, no bi bi that biologicals? Guy. Huh? That guy. 
Uh, dude, we don't we don't know. We don't know, Rick. We so don't know. It, in the Civil War, the it's fifth previous, generation warfare. The people, previous Civil War, people have yeah, everyone up. knew what was what was going on. You know, your your people were fighting. You knew there was a war going on between the North and the South. Yeah. Um, and but now you're saying this is like a behind the scenes Civil War. So it's not the people. Mm-hmm. It's not the people really. It what what might be presented as a civil war is really a globalist takeover. It's a coup. And it's people that see it. It's the localists versus the globalists. It's the people that see this and say, no, man. No, this is no, you can't. I mean, you you can't send any more of our money abroad while we're broke. We're dead broke. We we've sent generations worth of wealth abroad. While we while yeah. we've let people literally starve and die here. Yo, we, how many times is that video we did we were talking about the, with the money sent to ukraine yeah two, i think it's done like like two millions and it's been on other people's accounts going for millions yeah too there was some great points you made in there man i mean it's just you know, the truth. You know what else is funny is in that video um i start the video with hey want to see this cool thing i read people think i like did all this with these fucking <laughs> calculations but with the clip mm-hmm. it, that part's clipped out so then other people regurgitated that information on theirs and tagged me like oh he's ripping off your shit and i'm like bro i i was tell, telling someone else's thing wow that's funny that's you're a good man for saying that robert green would say you're a sucker for being honest Fuck uh, that. <laughs> i agree i, I robert think, green no is do you think robert green's a good person i think there's no such thing as a good or a bad person i think there are it's good all or bad of gray th- yeah good or bad things you can do yeah i think there's good people i think there's good people i think there's uh bad people I think it's at the end, right? Like, you accumulate how many good things versus how many bad things and the severity. Heaven or hell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you weigh it out. Yeah. I, I Might need to do about 6,000 years in purgatory, but in terms of eternity, shit, I could do that standing you, on my you a- head. You asked a question a couple of shows back, like, was there ever a point where woke is good? And at some point, the question has to be, what I try to do so I don't get too caught in my own ideology, say, all right, let me try to see this from the other perspective. Like, maybe a one-world government is good, right? Like, maybe centralization is good. And I try to work myself through that. And then as I work myself through that, I get into their depopulation strategies, their degrowth strategies, and I'm like, no, I'm no, these people have to be stopped. These people are monsters. Because bottom line is they think everybody that isn't them and their elite old money type folks everybody's just a worthless kind of feeder just s- sucking up their resources taking their food and taking their resources yeah. and it's actually what they call them it's weird you said that they call them it? worthless eaters worthless eaters worthless eaters yeah you know people that that use resources don't add anything productive destroy the environment uh you know and and, and they you know oh like people like living <laughs> yeah just like they are yeah i mean even the ivy leagues which have taken a beating lately finally people are catching well, up. who's these elites let's name names well look up let's look, name names. look up the university of columbia come comes out and says you know climate change is a great way to subvert capitalism i thought climate change was about saving the earth no it's just about changing the political and economic dynamic i don't know if you could pull that up hannah hannah's doing a good job running and gunning with us today Hannah banana yeah but you know we're we're in a situation here where man, the fir- the hardest thing is just getting people to see see what's happening, like getting people like getting people to see it is the hardest thing, you know. Even Democrats are like these. Well, brother, are- the fact is people don't want to see it. Yeah. People don't want to see it. You talk talking like this makes people aware of the prison that's that they're in. Mm. People's heads are in the sand. Yeah. And ignorance is bliss. Yeah. But you talking truth to this shit, even though you're a cynical fuck who <laughs> ra- can be rather negative, as you like to say, deeply rooted in reality, deeply I might rooted. go ahead and say you're pretty much on the negative <laughs> side, brother. But Reality has a negative bias. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Your reality for fuck sure does. Don't stop a man who's drowning. You'll drown too. <laughs> yeah, but listen. There, it, the, the shit needs to be... You know, it needs to be thought about. It needs to be uh, thought on Oof. and examined, because if you you gotta be have your head in the sand and not think some shit's going on and going down. Like, wild, wild. Yeah. A guy running for president, of the United and States. Take stock. You're if you're one of these worthless feeders, mm-hmm. as they say. 
Yeah, how do you feel about that? <laughs> you, this is your life too. This is your world too. This is your, this is the world your ancestors fought yeah. and kept you around for. This is the the place where you're gonna have, you know, maybe you're gonna have kids one day, and you got family members, and you got future generations. What kind of world do you want it to be for them? Yeah, that's a great point. The problem is, is that the people that are attracted to this ideology, they don't see themselves being the janitor in the new world order. They don't. They they can't see themselves as being. They're not part of the problem. You see, so, you know, th- their their mind, it's like, hey, you know, can't make an omelet without breaking some eggs. Sucks to be you guys. Should have got on board. They don't. They don't see that it's gonna be them. They don't see that that this this snake eats its own tail. You know, th- this is an ideology that appeals to narcissistic rich they're kids. They're like they're like so are you saying they're like the guys doing the bank job with the Joker where I kill this guy, he kill then that guy kills that guy, then exactly. that guy and the Joker hops in the on the bus and, and is off? That's exactly what it's like. Damn. Yeah. I, cold, wor- cold world, brother. I kill the bus driver. The bus driver. Boom. Oof. Yep. That's what. That's exact. That's the. That, that's absolutely it. Yeah. Revolution needs its young. You know, a lot of these people don't actually give a shit about you know the communist ideals or anything, or they don't care about open borders. They just they just hate that they're not in control, and they see this as an avenue by which to destabilize who didn't give them control, punish those who didn't give them control, and then take control. That's really what it comes down to, man. I hate authority because I'm not the authority. The Che Guevara shit. You know, these are all rich kids. Fidel Castro was a rich kid. Che Guevara, rich kid. Lenin, rich kid. Mao, rich kid. Brooklyn, full of rich kids. Talking about they don't got any money, but they pay $2,000 a month to live with six other people in a, in, a, in, a, in a Williamsburg apartment. You know? Yeah, the system's fucked. There's some bad things going on. But the problem is, more than anything else, is that these people... The Where's bo- our Batman? Where's the one who's going to rise up? Who's on this ballot that could do something good, G? You started know. talking about this ballot. You 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 like who you like? You like RFK? You like Trump? Who do you like? Uh, who can do it? I, who's going to do it? I, I dude, honestly, I I've never been a Trump fan and I want to see Trump get elected because these I want these guys to fail. I want them to fail desperately. Because you think Trump is actually a guy who can will try and fight it and, you know, drain the swamp I, No, I don't, but I, I think he I do think he's vindictive and petty and I, and it's kind of an enemy of my enemy is my friend at this point. An These enemy people, of your enemy is your friend yeah, and the, that the, makes Trump your friend. The DOJ has to be hollowed out and started over. Department of Justice is, is corrupt. The IRS is corrupt. The FBI is corrupted. The CIA is corrupted. The the country can't continue to function as it is. We have a cancer in our body politic. We can't weed out cancer. We can't negotiate with cancer. Cancer's not something you grow out of. Cancer's not a phase. You, kill it. you address cancer or it kills you. And that's that's where we are right now. This is a cancer that is, you know, metastasized. And this is not an anti-Democrat rant. This started with the Bushes. This started with the freaking Patriot Act. All right? right. Half of the Republicans are in on this. The uh, Mitch McConnell light on the Patriot Act. The, people don't know. Well, the the Patriot Act, as you know, is basically a nullification of our of our of our, our constitution, of our yeah. Bill of Rights. It, it entered into it made it legal to have a police state. Um, everything that's happened in the last ten years could not have happened without the Patriot Act. It's an abomination, and it should be done away with immediately. Um, that's the thing with uh, laws; they add laws, and they rarely uh, take laws away. <laughs> How many laws have they ever taken away in our life? That's what I'm saying, man. Even not- Roe v. Wade, which everybody went nuts about Roe v. Wade. They got rid of it. They made abortion illegal. They made abortion illegal. Roe v. Wade was a law that made it illegal to make abortion illegal. Right. It was a law that you couldn't make a law. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. it, it, it's... So even by repealing that, you didn't do anything. All you did is just give people just a little bit of their rights let back. Like... And, and it, it, there's nobody on earth that wants an abortion that can't get one in America. That, that's, that's like a fucking full stop nonsense thing. Now, it may be expensive in some places, but that's where you lose me. Like, hey, you want an abortion? I'm pro-choice. That's on you. But don't make somebody else pay for it. My God. Like, what? Yeah, I'm what kind pig- of a monster I'm are you? a little bit here. But one thing that I found fucked up was the my body, my choice you want to get an abortion, God bless, do whatever you want. Yeah. 
But then when that vax came Oof. out. They got real you know, quiet, didn't they? It got, you know what I mean? It was like, do you get it? Yeah. You're irresponsible. Yeah. It, the hypocrisy of the whole thing is just, it, it becomes like you almost want to throw up in your mouth. You got people that are out there bragging about having 10 abortions that want to take somebody's gun away. It's like, yo, your body can't, you're, you, you chill, James Dillinger. Why don't you calm down? All right. Like you, you, John Dillinger. John Dillinger. Why don't you calm down? Like you got to, you know, you've emptied a full clip into them babies. Why don't you calm down? All right. And then. You know, why don't we just let each other live and let live for crying out loud? Yeah, man. Let, I mean, yeah. Yeah. It, uh, it's been quite a, quite an indictment of freedom. What do you mean? Qu- fr- freedoms, it's not as, uh, fr- it just ain't what it used to be, man. There's a lot of, a lot of people trying to, you know, put sanctions and put, there's just so, there's too many fucking rules. Yeah. You know what's right and you know what's wrong. And a lot of it's just bureaucracy yeah. in between. It, it's hurt me how much people don't really give a shit about freedom. It's really obvious that it's one of those things that nobody cares about until it's Bro, gone. Bro, but the thing is, man, is like people are comfortable. Yeah. There, it's You can go and, and uh, zone out watching Netflix or put on virtual reality or play a video game and kind of ignore that jail cell yeah. above you. That's one of the things that scares me is that because of the data and because of the technology have they figured out how to make us comfortable enough you know what i'm saying like the dog that lives in your mom's house pretty comfortable it's a pretty comfortable dog it gets food when it wants gets belly rubs you know it just better not when it wants it gets food when it's given it gets food when it's given it gets health care free health care free food to lay on the couch lay on the couch it's not outside it's not outside when it's allowed when it's allowed all it costed is its balls and God forbid it barks or bites. Literally. That's it. Yeah. And then some of these damn dogs, they learn to love their leash, man. Oh, I get to go outside? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And there's other dogs that are like, bro, if you don't let me out this house right now. And, and you know, I, yeah. It, it's, um. but this is why, you know, you got to be prepared, Mick. And you know how you prepare for times like this? Mm. By going to TWC.health. TWC.health yeah. backslash slick. And thick. That's S L I C K, the letter N T H I C K. Hannah, if you can pull it up. T W C dot health. Pull that shit up, Hannah Banana, please. Give her a sec. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Hey. Good to see you, Jamie. Oh, that ain't it. <laughs> oh, want me to read that to you? Brukata Natal. Liked it. Nice. TWC. TWC.health. We'll edit this part out. Yep. That that should be it. Yeah, there we go. If you as I'm hey. talking, just just start scrolling slowly. Thank you. TWC.health, the wellness company. That's healthcare without propaganda. Mick, they have everything to help you be prepared for the next crisis. That's everything from all natural multivitamins to a full telehealth service that you can subscribe and get prescriptions from a doctor of your choosing. Somebody that puts health before profit. I, don't, I like that. I appreciate that a lot. If you Yo, see I've, there, I've been uh, munching on them on them gummies, feeling healthy as hell. I've been. Uh, I love the digestive enzymes. I know I talk about that all the time, but. Yeah, get some digestive enzymes. If you are a gobbone like me and mm-hmm. like to eat a bunch, get a digestive enzymes and you're going to absorb all those good nutrients and be freaking And good. if you see right there, you've got Dr. Peter McCullough, an absolute hero of the lockdowns. We refuse to profit from your sickness. Join the fight for medical freedom by supporting TWC, the wellness company, a company focused on your wellness with incredible doctors, treatments, and products. That's Peter McCullough, a guy who was proven right about basically everything from the COVID lockdowns. At TWC, you can get everything from uh, immuno health spike support, which you see right here. The multivitamins Mick was talking about, all natural supplements. And you also get a COVID readiness, uh, a lockdown, read, not just COVID, forgive me, a lockdown readiness kit right there. An emergency medical kit in your closet that has everything that you need from antibiotics to Invermectin and more. That well, right I'll there you, is a I'll, must have for every quick. household. Uh, I So speaking of that right there, see the amoxicillin Z-Packs, that type of shit? Mm-hmm. Bro, I could have used one, one one time. I I got so sick when we flew out to Vegas. I'm at, it's actually funny. Can you put the uh, camera back on your boy real quick? <laughs> I got my uh, Hogs and Heifers shirt on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Vegas. Most most bad one of the most badass bars in the world. Mm. All right. 
Shout out to Michelle and AR. America's best honky tonk. I was out there for the 30th, uh, um, re, uh, what is it, anniversary? Yep. On the plane, I start feeling like shit, bro. Mm -hmm. I was, I was, uh, I was in two sweatshirts, sweatpants on a hot plane, freezing. All, I was, I was fucked up. I end up having uh, staff train. If you're training or, or uh, <clears throat> mixing fluids with, and these some of these boys don't, you know, take as good care of themselves. I was fucked up. I was fucked up bad. I had it in my in my nose and my throat. Oof. I go out there. I try to go to the hospital, right? To not the hospital, or one of these places. Actually, yeah, I end up going to the hospital too. Yeah, but you went to, to uh, urgent care first. Yeah, I went and I was, sit I was sitting in the hospital lobby. I'm seeing people all fucked up. I'm like, bro, like I got out of there. Thank goodness I had a friend who had like amoxicillin from, I believe either Costa Rica or Mexico. Took that shit. I started feeling better instantly. <laughs> just... I was I was sitting there suffering, feeling like dog shit. I I'm I'm glad I have one of those packs. Where just in case yeah. shit goes out. And I I'm very anti. I'm you know me. I'm a naturalist, bro. Mm -hmm. I don't like taking antibiotics. It's not good for you. But when you're fucked up, yeah, that shit will. It's a tool. It's a it, tool that it's, that, it's, that... Ne it's necessary. It's it's yeah. not good for you. It messes with your uh, gut flora and your. It's it's not ideal to have. But when you're feeling like you're fucking dying. Yep. You, that's just gonna really help 100 percent. and i'm telling you right now it's better to have it and not need it than need it and Duh. not have it yo j yes and you don't need to do all jump through a bunch of hoops and do nope. a bunch of bullshit hop on the twc wc twc.health twc.health yep keep it in your in, in in your closet and if god forbid something happens and you need that shit that could it could be a difference between life and death no doubt about it twc.health backslash Slick and the letter Stay N. Stay ready so you don't got to get ready. Thick. Backslash. Slick, slick and thick. And we'll be sure to get you a discount there. Yeah. Um, get a nice discount. Slick and thick. And I do. And dude. And I, and I and look, they're our sponsor. We obviously get paid for it. But I do believe in their products. And uh, we don't do any bullshit on here. No. And also, dude, it's, I'm telling you, 2024. We've, we've it's passed better up, to have it and not need it. We've passed up on money because we on things that we didn't believe in. Yeah. You know what I mean? For we sure. Take, we, you know, we take our responsibility to you guys seriously yeah and you know this is this is something i feel very 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 strongly about this this direction we're going in it it, it has to break you know it's just a matter of in what direction it breaks and how bad the break is we cannot stay on the current trajectory it's an impossibility it, 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 one side is going to win one side is going to lose it's not like it's not unlike in Cancelled Weekly with Candace when we were talking about somebody's got to be the good guy. Somebody somebody has to stop. Somebody has to be like, all right, enough. This is enough. And I don't think we have those people. And the people we have are definitely not the people who are in control. I am of the firm belief that the people actually in control of our politicians do not live in the United States of America. I am of really? the firm belief. I am of the firm belief. Name them, dog. Which name who? There's too many. Who are they? Dude, the in, I'm going to tell you right now. Almost the entirety of the Democratic Party is beholden to external forces. Beholden to external forces. Beholden forces. So to they're external not, forces. So they're not looking in the best interest of the people. Yeah. They're looking for the best interest of these either corporations yep. or Joe, Joe Biden's entire uh, project at University of Penn after, after uh, he left the vice presidency, after Obama's second term. He had an office at the University of Pennsylvania. They were running some sort of school or whatever. Most of his cabinet worked for him there. Almost all of their money came from China. Almost all of it. Okay, so the, he he was. So they're doing these politicians are doing China's bidding instead of the bidding of the American people, especially probably the middle and lower class of America. Yeah, the the World Economic Forum. It's or even not... the upper class. So the upper class, mm -hmm. middle, mm -hmm. lower class, but then what's supersedes that is the elites and their agendas sure and their foreign agendas and yep. foreign entanglements yeah and this is where the idea of global federalism comes in they think they think the idea of nations is stupid and archaic and on a theoretical level you can understand that you can you can get that but what it means as far as like the redistribution of resources depopulation degrowth you know it, it's remarkably bad things it's remarkably bad things. You can go to jail. They're, they're, well, it's not done yet. But in Ireland, there's like 
they have a hate an online hate speech law that was drafted by the UN, all right, that didn't pass the UN resolution, but now Ireland is looking to pass. You could go to jail for, for, for 12 years for a fucking DM. You could DM something that somebody finds hateful or aggressive, and you can go to jail for 12 years. How? It, it's because sticks and stones don't break my bones, but it's a way to keep you fucking under control. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is... It's like dystopian shit. It's it's wild. It, part of what I think their strategy is is some of the things that they do are so fucking crazy that people think you're crazy by telling them what they do, and they don't go read. It's on the it's on the World Economic Forum's website. You can go look up degrowth. You can look up the the Columbia says let's use climate change to get what rid is, of capitalism. You can look it up. Hey, I'm gonna grab my water. Tell tell me about degrowth. I'm listening. Degrowth. Yes. <laughs> Degrowth is this idea of going backwards in in our indus in our industrial revolution, the fourth industrial revolution. It's about getting rid of people so we can make our resources smaller. Let's make cars smaller. Let's make cities smaller. Let's make houses smaller. Let's all reduce our carbon footprint. And how do we do that? Well, we do that by making sure that this the population doesn't grow. How do you make sure the population doesn't grow? Well, you either kill people or you make them incapable of having babies or you make having babies, you know, distasteful or, or frankly, like, you know, unaffordable. So now you're in a position where if you want to continue your genetic line, if you want to continue your family, continue your species, you have to live in abject poverty. Well, there's other people who don't, and that's the elites. This is what I'm talking about with freedom. So the elites... They can have as many kids as they want, and they, but the, the, they're starting to say the quiet part out loud. They're starting to be honest with people and be like, well, why shouldn't we have kids? We're the elites. We're the ones that got into Harvard. Did you get Who's into Harvard? Who's saying this out loud? They are. The they. Right? See, you got to try and give me a better answer to that. We don't have time today. We'll go d- deeper into it. Other, th- this, is, this is a long discussion. We have 15 minutes. We got to do mixed picks. It's, it, it, it's, it's not, there's no short answer to this. We're talking about a global conspiracy, the likes of which has never been perpetrated. It, it, there's no like three people here. That sounded so Alex Jonesy. But it's the truth. I know. That's the point. But here, and, That's the and here's point. The, here's the thing Alex Jones, sure, it sounds a little crazy. He's nuts. Is he wrong? That's the thing. You know, but then they get into the intergalactic demons are here. We've got to fight on behalf of God. And yeah. it's like, yeah, I guess. But can we also, like, I don't know, like, before we do all that, can we just, you know, can we stop these people? Our houses in order? Can we stop these people from making food cost $200 every time we cost it? You know, can, they, can, we, can we maybe not have them kill 20,000 cows for climate change when there's people starving? Can we, can we not do that? Yeah. You know, can what? we make can we make it so that Bro. fertilizers affordable and that there doesn't have to be a revolution in France so and in the Netherlands? So this still is uh, sits in my craw. They're killing how many cows? Uh, I got to look it up. Because of because of to prevent climate change yeah. while there's still people hungry. Yeah, man. They don't so give a shit. They want the people cows? to die cuz they want so- the people to die. They don't want the people to <laughs> You know? They want the people to die. They want them dead. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's again, Irish. The day, I, I, and I'm sorry. It has a day. It's not. Just, it's not. It's not 20,000. I'm wrong. Irish farmers pressured pressured to call up to 200,000 cows to meet 2030 climate demands. Bro, I want to go in there and be a <laughs> cow thief. Where's PETA? Where's yeah, PETA? Fucking a. Where's PETA now? Where's huh? PETA? Where are they on this issue? Crazy. PETA, what up, dog? They're paid for by the same people. Dude, Davos. Messy, just bro. look it up. It's Davos, Fucking guys. They, they, they're not hiding. It's Davos. The World Economic Forum. The the the, the Paris Accords. The, this stuff is right there. They're not hiding. They're proud of it. They just think you're too stupid to understand. Yeah. They 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 don't want to explain themselves to you because you're an idiot. If you understood, you'd be there with them. You'd get it. Don't you get it, idiot? Like yeah, you know, humans are bad. Got to get rid of humans. I'll vote for that. What the fuck? It's nuts. It's nuts. So shit. That's sick shit. It's nuts. So shit, man. Sick shit. Yeah. So, but until then, don't depress yourself. Have fun. Yeah, Enjoy. guys. Hey, everything's great. Everything's bro. great. Everything's great. 
<laughs> if money's going to be worth nothing anyway, you might as well put a couple shekels on the old NFL. Huh? What do you think? A little mixed hey. picks to finish this on a, on a high note? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you still got football. Wait, what, how'd the Roman... Uh... When the, when bread the and circus, of, when, baby. Bread and circus, right? Bread and circus. But, hey, you can put a little money in your pocket, make yourself a little more comfortable. Again, we love BetUS because BetUS is doing good deals for our people. You guys can make money. Big time. Double your Listen, money by putting the money in. Me and G just can't go. We, we're grateful for you guys. Yeah. We can't just go and handing out money to all you listeners. But you know what? We got a place that will do that. Yep. You, all you got to do is be a little smart. Make some smart picks here. We're going to help you out. We're going to give you a couple picks. But BetUS gives you 125% Percent. of your investment. If you put $1,000 in to their website, mm-hmm. you get $2,225. 50. And 50. It's even better. Even better than my <laughs> math. All right? 2250 You put that. Now you have more. Now you it's almost do, too good of a deal. Every time I tell people, bets, they think it's like a scam. Do a, a, a good, smart couple bets. Yeah. Take your money out. 100%. Now you just came out with a, with a lot of money. Yeah. I'm telling you right now. You or gotta... be a freaking player. Do a player move, have some balls, and double down and double, double down, down. Double down. Be a millionaire. Double then take down. your money out. Well, you're, you're only seven doubles away from a million. Seven doubles away from if a you, million. For, if you do $100, okay. you're seven doubles away from a million. Tell me how it works. Seven? Well, let's, let's go ahead and do it. All right? So if let's we do $100, do let's, let's do the match. Let's do the match on here. Eh? We do a little bit of math. We so got ourselves 100? we got ourselves a little calculates. Are you so, sure it's a hundred? So let's check it. If you do a hundred dollars, right? Yeah. That means that you have two hundred and twenty five dollars to play with, right? So two twenty five. Let's times two. Boom, four fifty. That's one. You help me out here. Okay. Times two. Two. Nine hundred. Times two. Three. Eighteen hundred. Times two. Four. Thirty six hundred. Times two. Five. Seventy two hundred. Times two. Six. 1,400 times two. Seven. 2,800 times two. Eight. Times two. Nine. Well, well, not, well first of all, you're at now you're at 150,000 times two. Ten. Okay, so I was off. It's $1,000. It's $1,000. <laughs> I thought so. I thought so. But yes, I think $1,000 if you keep doubling it. $1,000. Two grand and you're popping a bucket. Then you're, but at, but if, if you put $1,000, you're seven doubles So if you put away. like 500, if you put 500 bucks in. Then you're, you're right there. From you're seven, seven doubles, doubles away for two a million. Yeah. How you doing? How you doing? Seven doubles away. Done? Or you just go ahead and hit one parlay. Get it done in one time. Get it done. Some people say parlays are sucker bets. Sucker bet. But you know what else? What? If you broke, use a sucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Who's telling you a parlay is a sucker hey, bet? I've seen people Do they have a Lamborghini? I've been. I, yeah, I've been seeing some crazy parlay. Uh, Dividend, some crazy oh, turns. You put in five bucks. Someone, some dude put in five bucks and made half a million last week. Yeah, he hit an eleven team parlay. That's all. That's a once in a generation. Yeah, but these, these like when you can like pick someone to score. Yeah. Those, bro. Yeah, the props are cool, man. The props are. And cool. you got pick, props on Bet US. By the way, you got to use good, code. Good receiver. You got to use code ST one two five. You got to log on, log in. It's got to be your first time signing up. BetUS.com at sign up. Use code ST125 for 125% your first time. Who you got in mixed picks this All week? All right, Rick? bro. I got uh So, look. I'm, I've been looking. I got a little trivia for you first. Go for it. There is one division in the NFL yep. where every team has uh, a winning record. Really? Yeah. Only one. Don't be looking uh, up on your phone, bro. Uh, I would never Try do that. Try and give me a guess. What are you doing? I see you uh, typing over there. What? All right. Did you look it up? No. Who's the one division that every team has a winning record? The one division. One division. That every in team. The, in the national, in the AFC and NFC. Yeah. In the National Football League. One division. Everybody's got a winning record. Everybody's got a winning record in the AFC North. Who's the AFC North? The AFC North is Baltimore, Cleveland, Pittsburgh, and... Cincinnati? Cincinnati don't have a winning record, do they? Yes, they do. I nailed it. You got it. You yeah. Cheater. I didn't cheat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I swear to God, I didn't cheat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was texting our dinner person that we we're wrapping up to. I believe you. I believe you. Um, so, yeah, I, I think right now this is getting into week 16. Yep. When we came up. No, week 17 now. Is that right? Yeah, this is the old end of the season. There's one more game now, but this is the old end of the season. This is week 17. I think it might be one off. I think I... there might be two more games. You think so? I do. Okay. I do. I think, uh, yeah, this is no, week 16. No, that's what I'm saying. It's week 17. 
bye week. You're forgetting the bye week. So 17 there's, there's used to be the last week. There's 18, 18 weeks, weeks now. now. Yeah. Got it. So all right, understood. Understood. 17 games played. Correct. Um. So this week and this next week, yeah. we got playoff teams on the teams on the bubble. There's only like four teams have clinched. There's a lot of playoff spots still open. Yes, a lot. Um. So I'm going with. First, I'm 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 going with the Rams. They're on the bubble. They could get one. They're a minus six to against my New York Football Giants. Yep. I, I gotta I gotta go with uh, my I'm bet usually I bet with my heart. Yeah. I bet with my mind here. I feel like these teams that have something really to play for, mm-hmm. I'm going with them. And the other t- team I'm going with is uh, Jacksonville. You I think love Jacksonville this year. I've been going with them. Uh, they've been hit and miss sometimes, but I think you know these. I think right now there's teams playing against teams that don't have as much to win. Yeah. You know, I'm going with the teams that are kind of on the bubble, need to get a win to secure their spot. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I got the Rams and I got Jacksonville this week. You know, at home the Giants have a top ten defense at home. They're a bottom three defense on the road, top ten at home. The Rams are coming across country, and Tyrod Taylor starting a quarterback. I actually think the Giants cover this game. Yeah, you think the Giants which cover? Means, All right, so we're going head-to-head here. Which means the Rams are going to win by 24. But, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm taking the Giants. And if I if I can, I would actually buy two points and make the Giants plus eight. Oh, I well, would if make you're it, doing that. Yeah, I would buy two points. Making it over a touchdown. Yeah, and I, I'm also feeling pretty confident on the under 43 and a half. Under 43 and a half. I know that's crazy in an NFL game. That's, you know, that's a 24-20 game. But yeah. December, MetLife Stadium. Giants home, they're gonna they're gonna hold on to the ball. Tyrod Taylor is gonna do those seventeen play field goal. Uh, I I don't know. I I see the Giants covering this game. I can see them losing but covering. So okay. we're going head to head on that one. Uh, the other one that I absolutely love, I love the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at home, only giving two and a half. To I the Saints. I like the Bucks too. Yeah, they're right now they're a game up. Mike Evans is on fire. That's a divisional game. It's at home. And the how about Saints your boy little... Baker Mayfield? Yeah, huh? Have himself a season. Oof. Mike Evans, he got back with the, he got back with his college buddy. Every time yeah. you meet your college buddies, it's a good time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get back with your college buddies. I it's thought a he good was uh, Johnny time. Manziel's college buddy. Mike Evans was it not Baker Mayfield? Nah, I think it was Manziel. But wasn't Baker Mayfield on that team? He lost out to. I could be very wrong. I'm not sure. And then before he went to Oklahoma, you know what? I, maybe I'm wrong. I could be wrong. He yeah, but there is Manziel's similarities role. between Man- Manziel and uh, Mayfield. But Mayfield has, has done his thing. People counted him mm-hmm. out. He's on like his <clears throat> former, I think, first overall pick on his fourth team. Yeah. <coughs> I'll tell you what other one I like. Yeah. Green Bay Packers are getting a point in Minnesota. Head-to-head, big playoff implications. Minnesota's got running out there. Nick Mullins, their third quarterback, and they're a home favorite against uh, against Green Bay. I don't see it. I like Green Bay plus one on that game Monday night. Yeah, I think the winner of that is at 500 yeah. on the season. And also, uh, I think game of the week, a potential Super Bowl matchup, is Miami Dolphins versus the Ravens. Ravens are given three. Well, it's not Super Bowl because they're both in the AFC. It would be an Shit, AFC, AFC championship. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah it's, my bad, my bad. It may be the, that's what I meant. I mean, it's yeah. two of the best three teams in football, right? Yeah, it's it, you'd figure the two of them, and then they just molly. It got weird, bro. You know what? Molly You know Francisco. what I think, though, bro? I kind of still believe that it it could be right now. People are saying it's gonna be like a uh, Baltimore. Yeah, and uh, that you know, last week they're saying this could be a Super Bowl matchup: yep. Baltimore and the 49ers. Yeah, I I think that the think Philly's gonna figure I it out. I think Philly and the Chiefs are getting their little things out Ooh. now, and I think they could still they're gonna. Be ready for the playoffs. Yeah, I, I, I don't know about the I'm Chiefs. I'm not losing total faith. I don't know about them. the Chiefs. Yeah. I think they uh I, I think the frustration's boiling up because of things we don't know about. And it has nothing to do with old uh, Taylor Swift there either. It's guys not running the right routes, guys not catching the football. There's a lack of professionalism from some guys who kinda like came into a well oiled machine. Kadarius Tony? Some guys. <laughs> That came into a well oiled machine. Giants fans don't forget. And they threw a wrench in it, and and that the dynamic of that team's kind of off. Kelsey's a shadow of himself. I don't know if he's already considered himself retired. He's thirty four years old. A lot of you know, hell of a career. It's hard. It's hard to one of the greatest tight ends ever. Oh, for sure, top five, easy. Top five, right? Yeah, you, you know, it's hard to live on the razor's edge for that long. They've been great for four years now, man. I mean, you know, it. They, they may need like a little. They may need a year here. And uh, I'm saying that, and they're still one of the best teams in the league. I like, you know, I like a listicle. Give me your top five tight ends ever. I'll do it with you. 
We got Kelsey. It's just in there. my. It's just my top five. It's not like who I think statistically are the best. It's my five top five top five tight ends. Sure. All right. Uh, Shannon Sharp's number one for me. Uh, all around tight end. Tony Gonzalez was great. Didn't block as much. I'd put Gronk two. Tony Gonzalez three. Probably go Antonio Gates four. Tony but people Gates, say yeah. Dicka uh, should be in there because he basically invented the. Uh, the position, the position, and then I'll probably go with Kelsey five. I like that list. Yeah, yeah. That's, uh, that's probably yeah, my I five. I don't think you missed anybody. Kellen Winslow was a stud, eh? Unbelievable, yeah, really he good. You got sharp way I, ahead of him, and and he, I mean, he was a little before my yeah. time, your time too. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. Jason Witten's right around there. Jason Witten's a Witten's stud. A stud, stud. But he's a yeah. He he wasn't as a. As sexy as the other ones, no, you know great. What I mean? like, but but as a tight end, you should be able to block. You yes, know? of course. Um, and and Witten was a monster, monster for a long time. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's there's been a bunch of really good ones that that, uh, it's it's very very hard in today's game with the way stats are, to look at guys from the the, the even the 60s, 70s, 80s and say, I don't, know, you know. Sure. They caught they caught thirty passes for four hundred yards, and you know they were all pro, and it's like okay. Yeah. You know that's a good two weeks for Travis exactly. Kelsey. Yeah, I think I think uh, Gronk's goofy and people kind of sleep on him a little bit. He was a force. He's unreal. He's a such a force. Unreal. Man. Yeah, him and Brady. That's one of the best duos I think. Yeah. Uh, in in history of the NFL. Yeah, and I was roommates with his brother too. So oh, old yeah? old Gordy, good guy. Uh, what do you think before we get out of here, Mike McDaniel? What do you think of old Mike McDaniel, the head coach of uh, of uh, of uh, the quirky head coach of uh, the Miami Dolphins? I fucks with him, dog. I think I do too. I like him. I think I do too. I like him. He wears capris. He's a weirdo. He gasses his guys I, up all the time. I he, love he, it. He gives like he he does stand up comedy for his uh his his what? his press uh his, his press yeah yeah, yeah. oh like, yeah no like he's like always he, he, yeah. Did you see what he was doing with Dan Marino? Nah. Fuck your records, Dan. We're coming for your record. Dan Marino <laughs> comes out and he and he's like waving you know waving to the crowd. And I don't think Dan Marino can hear because because word is Dan Marino don't play don't you know Gator don't take no shit. Yeah. Dan Marino is apparently a bad mother sucker. Love. It. I've heard that from different people where Dan Marino don't take shit from nobody. Right. That that dude turns around and says you shut your fucking mouth. Yeah. Or right. like he like he's still he's still a tough gindaloon from old Pittsburgh, Danny mm-hmm. Marino. When it comes down to it. Yeah. yeah. You know. But he, he, Mike, we can see Mike McDaniel back there going. You know, everybody's like, and and of course, legendary Dolphin Dan Marino. It's almost like it's out of uh, an Ace Ventura remake, yeah. where he's, and, "Fuck you, Dan. We're coming for your records, Dan. Fuck your records, Dan." Yeah. And he's like clapping while he's doing. It. So it's it's kind of playful, but it's also like, not. <laughs> like yeah. you never know what. No, nah, I, I like McDaniel. I remember there's there's a real funny meme where it's like. Uh, Mike McDaniel coach is a coach like like uh, his father left him in charge for the weekend. And then the little thing of him like walking around bopping to the music, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, I think he's fun. I think you know the team's behind him. I think Miami Dolphins are one of the most fun teams in the league yeah. right now. Mike um, McDaniel's running the Miami Dolphins like he's running it like like it's his Madden franchise. Yeah, he's he's just, no, he's got the pieces. He's got a lot of speed. He's yeah. got a you know a fun team. I. Uh, it's 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 fun watching uh, the Dolphins having their resurgence. Yeah, it's a good squad. Yeah. Speaking of resurgence, twenty twenty four, slick and thick. This is gonna be our year, baby. Yeah. Can't wait. One year in the books, Mick. Slick yeah. and thick. One year in the books. Ninety episodes, buddy. Hey. You're a full time hey. professional media personality now. You're a media personality. Well, well. <laughs> yeah. Well. 24 is going to be a fun year for a lot of a lot of reasons. Can't, I'm just going to get back in that motherfucking cage, dog. Yeah. Well, can't. Shut up some news on that for oh, you soon. I'm very, very excited for that. The people have been waiting, man. Yeah. The people have well, been hey, waiting. Hey, bro, my, my back's good. It's been a year since I had my back surgery. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, they, been, it's been just about a year, huh? Yeah, it's been like exactly a year. Wow. Exactly a year this week. And uh, yeah, bro, I'm feeling better than ever. Doing things I haven't been able to do in a few years. Uh, you know. Boys ready to go on a little run. Yeah, we're excited for it, man. For the great Mickey Gall, I'm Gerard Michaels. Thank you to the great people here in uh, Wilmington. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you, Hannah, for helping us out. We are out of here. Check out Slick and Thick on iTunes, on Apple, on YouTube. Big news coming in the new year. Check us out on IG, at Slick and Thick Show. And check out the wellness company, twc.health, backslash Slick and Thick. And check out BetUS.com, code ST125. We're going to help you get some money. Peace. Love you guys. Big kiss. Awesome. Shit, fuck.